Hey, do you like cursor, but you can't afford paying $20 every single month just to use it? Let me introduce you to Bear AI, an open source AI powered code editor that have the potential to be a replacement for cursor AI. Let's take a look to its different plans that we have here. We have three different plans, one with $10, the 10X engineer, the $15 junior engineer, and the one that I'm going to use the free one. But I'm going to focus on the intern plan. It mentioned here you can download the Bear AI directly and use our free trail or your own API key. So let's test it out. Click on whatever operating system that you have. Mine is Windows, so I'm going to download for Windows. After installing, let's set up it up. Here I got this weird message Windows protected your PC giving me a warning that there's something wrong with this app so i honestly just run it in a way i hope there is nothing wrong with this app the installation is very simple you click next and next and install and wait after install so this is the first log that i got selecting themes and i have here a list of all the command from bear ai and on the right, sign up, sign in. So I'm going to sign in inside my account using GitHub or Google. After signing up in Bear AI, I get this kind of subscription and usage, the Bear AI credits. And it doesn't tell me how long it can last or how many credits that I have right now. Just a bar with a progress right now at 0%. So let's test it out. I wanted actually to build a personal portfolio for me and my channel it's gonna have a blog and mentioning what i can do and couple of the project that i created so i'm gonna build the blog part using it and see if it's any good after signing in i got this kind of chat it's almost the typical one add a new chat from this button go full screen and view history and here you can select the model that you want actually there is adding model here which make it perfection can have here select others or the bear server. The other have multiple options like OpenAI, but you need to put your API key, Anthropica, Azora, Mistral, ABI, and Ulama. This is perfect. I wish that cursor had the option to run Ulama. Go here, Grok, DeepSeek, which one of the best actual model that you can run for coding, Together AI, Google Gemini, LM Studio. LLM file, replicate, lama.cbb, other OpenAI compatible API, once in X, that's incredible. I wish the cursor gave us this ability to run any model that I wanted. Right now, cursor only have a selected model that you choose from. No option to integrate anything like Mr. or DeepSeek or Olama. The only way that you can dodge paying for the bro plan is putting your ABI key for your selected provider. I choose Anthropica ABI key. I choose Anthropica because I love Cloud 3.5 Sonata. It's perfect for coding assistant. I also noticed that there is a configuration.json that you can modify if you want to add something over here, like the tab option, autocomplete tab option. It's provided in the documentation. Or actually, I'm going to leave link for it in the description if you want to add it. So I'm going to stop talking and try to build something right now. I'm going to use Nikki.js in this the main framework for building this project. But I really wanted to try out Remix, even I have never touched it before. And I heard a lot of good words about it, especially after OpenAI switch from Nikki.js to Remix. If you guys are interested in a video about Remix and AI integration, please let me know. I'm going to create one for you. We can both actually bear AI in our best, so we can open it within the direction with bear AI dot, and it will open up automatically like cursor and Visual Studio Code. So I'm gonna do that. I couldn't find the shell command to install bear AI in my Windows for some reason, so I added myself to the environment bash in the system. And right now I can just go to my profile folder and write bear AI, and it will open automatically, which. So after installing Nikki.js and opening the page.js, I have option after highlighting the code. Add to chat control L or control I to edit the highlighted code. It doesn't add the 
file that you open automatically in the chat you have to do that by yourself so i'm gonna do control l right now i can ask it i want it to create and a main page for a portfolio, a header, a blog, and a say like contact us or a footer. So after a decent link C prompt over here, it gave me what I wanted. I asked for a dark and light seam switch and the dark is the default. It can use still wind. I wanted a header, nav bar, and the block section, project section, and a footer in the end. So it gave us option here is either apply to current file, or insert at cursor or copy. So let's apply. Okay, it's going for, I think line by line. You can accept all or reject all. I will accept all, of course. This is what it looks like right now. I'm gonna improve it, of course. There is a footer with the social media icons, project section and block section, about me, portfolio. Let's test out if it can switch the light seam and dark seam. Yeah, it can do that. That's perfect. And also the font color change, background change. The only thing that it need to fix is making the photo stack to down, whatever, and add some images for the blog post, make the blog post a little bit better and switching the font from dark to light when it's switching the seam. It gives me a few links, projects, blog, and about, which I think automatically scroll for Let's try it out, blog. Yeah, it scroll down and the nav bar have some sort of glass effect. It's kind of the new trend. Let's try to improve this page. So I tried another way, which is the control I in Windows, which edit the highlighted code. It give you this kind of on input in top over here. I kind of miss the control key in cursor, which open you a symbol box that have another option like keep going improvement and it basically inside the file itself not on top of here but doesn't matter let's see how it will work so it seems after it's done it gives you also the changes and you have to accept or reject all i accept all let's see it once more it fixed the footer as i wanted to stuck in the bottom and the fonts just improved slightly right now the colors of the text and the date is switching with the knee, the color itself, but I think the background of the post and the project should be a placeholder images. So it's time to test if it can take a UI design like this one, slightly complex, I think, and add it to the file. And so far, I feel like the Claudia Sonata is not acting as itself. I feel it's a little bit dumbed down for some reason. I'm gonna try to figure out why and continue i have to be honest with you guys i am impressed this is the design almost the same design that i requested from cloud sonata and i just gave it the image it gave me the same almost title the, the position is different same kind of rectangle i just bought the image of homelander as the profile picture because i think you will be afraid even to say no to this guy and here download cv let's talk Almost same color, the emoji. It's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, I will stop at that. It's enough for me. I've seen enough. This is a very good code editor. It's offering a lot. Right now, I just use the free trail stuff. I didn't bought Olama. I didn't bought the API key. If you want me to create another video talking about Bear and how to connect it to Olama, just let me know. I can do that. And I can provide you with... A very good open source also model that you can use. So go ahead, test it out. It's a fantastic for a free open source code editor. I think it's come second after Cursor right now. But if it work a little bit on its code and provide more quality and make it a little bit faster, it will beat Cursor in my opinion. Because it have the advantage of using open source model or connecting to Llama or any local LLM if you want to. Cursor doesn't have that. So with that being said, thank you guys for watching. It has been a very good code editor so far. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think about this editor. And see you in the next video.